Hey, hope everybody's doing awesome today. Uh, today I wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how I paint my rifle stocks. So I don't paint all of my rifle stocks, but typically the ones that I take with me into the woods uh, for any specific hunting purposes. Uh, I do like to paint those just because I don't like taking something that's just a, you know, a solid color as this one here is, is all black. Kind of makes it stand out just a little bit more. So I like to get creative with it, just kind of do things my own way. And the way that I do my, I guess you'd say do it yourself or just self-painted rifle stocks is just with simple uh, spray paint. So gonna be using a few different brands here today um, and a few different colors. So we've got just a OD green here and then just a basic tan and this other brand of just a brown. So what I'll be doing today is just kind of take you through how I prep and paint my rifle stocks. I've uh, been doing it this way for quite a while. There's lots of different ways you can do it on your own using spray paint, rattle cans, whatever you want to call it. And how's that saying go? There's several different ways to skin a cat. And in my eyes, they're all fun. Any way you're skinning a cat is fun, but <laughs> just kidding. Uh, hopefully you guys don't take that to heart. Hopefully there's not too many sensitive people here on my channel. But um, all jokes aside, we're here to have fun. We're here to learn from one another. I try to provide some you know, educational, informative type content. And then I get a lot of feedback from you as my viewers as well that helps me um, in ways that I can do better uh, for different projects or just, you know, putting videos together, whatever it might be. So I say it all the time, but thank you guys for um, providing feedback, providing input, and just being here along the way throughout this journey. So before we get started here, just a, a few different basically whys, why do you want to paint a rifle stock? As you guys have seen on one of my previous videos, I just recently installed this Ruger American Predator into this Magpul uh, American Hunter stock. Uh, so it is relatively new to me. So painting a rifle stock, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to take a can of $2.50 spray paint and throw it on top of um, you know, a solid aftermarket stock like this? Uh, for me, it's fun. Uh, I can kind of make it custom to how I want. You know, I take it from something solid black to uh, what you guys will see here in a little bit, finished product that's something kind of tailored to me, tailored to the uh, terrain, the woods, uh, whatever it might be that I hunt, that I'm carrying this rifle around in. We all spend money on hunting camo and we want to make sure and blend into our surroundings. So why not try to take this and uh, make it blend in just a little bit better. For me, this is mainly a coyote hunting rifle for daytime. So uh, if it was just a, a nighttime rig, I wouldn't be concerned at all about it. And then another reason, um, anybody that knows a cool looking tactical style rifle or, or weapon, uh, you're definitely gonna be a better shot that way. This rifle right now is probably shooting 0.7 MOA. Um, by the time I get done spray painting this thing, it's probably going to be, you know, down around 0.3, something like that. Um, every single bullet's going to be touching on paper, no doubt about it. Just night and day difference. <laughs> and then another thing with why would you use spray paint compared to Cerakote? For me, um, it's very easy to, to change this to your surroundings. So say I'm hunting here in the Hoosier State, good old Indiana and you know, I might have a lot of green foliage around here. Well, what if I wanna take this out west to some you know, desert type areas and hunt coyotes or in Texas and hunt hogs? I can you know, take a can or two of something a lot lighter or wherever I might be going to, throw a couple coats of paint on this and make it you know, conceal better for wherever I'm gonna be taking this to, to go hunting at. Cerakote is pretty expensive. Um, sure, it might be a better finished product, but I'd rather be carrying this after it's spray painted through the woods and rub it on a log or a side of a tree or a rock and get a scrape on it whenever it costs me $2.50 compared to whatever Cerakote is. I've never paid somebody to Cerakote my rifles, but I don't know, 200 bucks, 300 bucks, whatever it might be. Might be cheaper than that, might be, might be more. Saving a lot of money, doing it myself having fun with it, 
and uh, that's the main reasons that, that I like to do this. So I'll get in here and just kind of show you guys how I do my rifles, um, the way that I've been doing them here the last few years. And uh, today I'm just going to do the stock only. I might eventually do the action, the barrel, in the scope. Uh, but today I'm just going to do this, the, the stock only. So, you know, if you guys want to take it further and do the whole thing, the steps that I show here would just continue to apply to the barrel and the, the scope itself. So we'll get started here and kind of go through the steps. All right, so here's everything that I use to paint my rifle stocks. I uh, got my different assortment of spray paints there. Got some alcohol. I don't get real stringent with the alcohol cleaning. The alcohol is just used to get rid of any sediment, uh, oils from your hands or gun oil off of the stock where it might prevent the, the paint from sticking. Use a rag to wipe that down. Just a piece of cardboard here to put my spray paints on. And what I've found to be the best for me is one of these open pour sponges or this is actually uh, a loofah. I think this is just purchased probably at your local Walmart. Um, Home Depot I'm sure has these type of sponges, Lowe's, any place like that. Uh, I really like the ones with the open pores just because as you'll see here it kind of gives it a, a pretty neat little broken texture type of a look. So we'll go ahead and get started here and just go through kind of the steps that I use. Let's take some of your alcohol Pour it on your rag. Doesn't need to be real extensive. Get it all over. Good thing about this is it dries really quickly. Don't need to worry about the, um, the bedding channel too much. You can spray a little bit of paint in there, but not much. Get down here by your grip. Come here on the butt stock. So sometimes depending on what the base color of the stock is, I would take a can of spray paint and spray paint the whole thing to give me a different base color. Uh, for this, I do want it to remain relatively dark in color. So I'm just gonna start out with my solid base color as the factory black here and then I'll just add on top of that. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna start with this tan here. Make sure you shake it up really well. You just take your paint here and your piece of spare cardboard, make you a nice little pile. Then I just take out a chunk of this sponge Set that to the side, pick you a side out on the sponge, dab it in there. And just start making you some random patterns. Doesn't have to be real meticulous or thought out, you're just simply trying to break up the solid black. Then we'll add, I'll probably just do one other color to this, kind of incorporate. You just keep going down through and dabbing wherever you see fit. This is where it gets fun. You just kind of do this how you see fit, you know, however you want to design this thing, more spots, less spots, whatever works best for you. It's your rifle, make it fit your woods, your hunting conditions. Then this spray paint doesn't take long to dry to the touch. Uh, it takes a little bit longer before you can use it, but just let this dry, flip it over, do the same thing there, and then move on to your next one or two colors, however many you're gonna use. So I've done this process several different ways in the past. Everything from cutting out my own stencils, 
to you know using some grass clippings, some pine, some clippings off of like a pine branch, the fishnet trick that you kind of see on YouTube or wherever. All of it works, all of it's fine. Use the tactics, the process, you know, that you think looks best to your eye, that you might like the best. And just see how it turns out. No right or wrong way. I think prep is a big thing, and then I'll show you how to finish it off. So now moving on, I'm going to try this uh, brown on here, see how well this picks up. I typically use this Rust-Oleum camouflage, but this Krylon works pretty well also. I'll just start here with a new spot. Get me a new piece of sponge. And I just kind of start filling in the gaps, overlapping parts of that tan, and then just kind of filling in the gaps. And now we're going to try out this OD green. So here's what it currently looks like. Uh, I've got my three different colors added to the stock. And you can see here for the bipod attachment, I have ran just a coat hanger through it and I'm gonna hang this up. So this step here is very important. Um, using this matte clear coat finish, I like to spray two, maybe three coats of this on to the stock after I've finished. Uh, putting my pattern on there, putting my different colors on there. This adds a, a nice thin layer and just keeps everything protected. So there we go guys, this is the finished product. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The clear coat adds a nice protective uh, finish to it. I might eventually go ahead and do the barrel, the action, and the vortex optic here as well, and um, possibly the, the magazine, but those are all things that I can do down the road or tomorrow or just whenever I get the itch to do that. But just wanted to give you guys an idea of how I paint my rifles and, and hopefully help you guys in the future if you guys ever decide to paint any of your weapons. Um, as always, you guys know how to get a hold of me. Comment down below in the comment section and uh, be willing to help you out with any questions you might have. Give me some ideas for any future videos about this rifle or just anything else in general. Uh, channel's still growing like crazy. Growing about 130 subs a month right now, heading in the right direction. Got a lot of content to pump out in 2019. Uh, you guys stay tuned for more. Please subscribe. It helps me out. Like this video and uh, happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.